This short video by Goldsmiths Learning Enhancement Unit covers some of the most common problems people tend to encounter with web conferencing and how to avoid them. We're using Big Blue Button, Goldsmiths web meeting environment, which is integrated with our virtual learning environment, LearnGold. We'll cover updating software, no sound, muted sound, feedback, unwanted sound, chat and no video. Let's start with updating your software. All the software you need to use BigBlueButton is available free of charge. You'll be using a web browser to access BigBlueButton, so it's a good idea to run an up-to-date version. In combination with your web browser, BigBlueButton also needs an up-to-date version of Adobe Flash Player. And if you're using a Mac operating system later than 10.6, you'll need to visit the Get Flash Player page at Adobe. And if you're planning to share your desktop, you'll need to update Java. You'll probably want to configure Flash, Java and your browser to prompt you to update when a new version comes out. And finally, you can get help with all of these by consulting Big Blue Button support pages, searching the web or contacting IT Services Help Desk. Next, sound. When you first enter Big Blue Button, a small dialog box for the Adobe Flash Player settings loads. This prompts you to configure your sound. If you want to be heard or seen in your meeting, you need to allow the Big Blue Button server to use your microphone and camera by clicking the Allow button. Don't worry, you can configure your sound and video separately later. Next, check you can hear the meeting by playing a test sound. And below that, check whether your microphone is working by speaking and watching for movement on the bar. If you can't see movement on the bar, then the first thing to do is check that Flash is using the right microphone. So click the Change Microphone button to load the Adobe Flash Player settings, make sure the Mic tab is selected, and then pull down the microphone menu and experiment with that. When you're ready, click Close, and you can then test your microphone again. Still no movement on the bar? If you're using an external mic, make sure it's on and not muted. Or if you're using your computer's internal mic, then check its settings. Going into the settings for this Mac, I can see that the microphone is turned down. So I'll turn it up again. Then I'll exit the sound settings, return to Big Blue Button, and test my mic again. Now I can see movement on the bar, so I know my mic is working and I can go ahead and click the Join Audio button. If you're having trouble finding the sound settings on your computer, then check its help files, search the web or contact IT Services Help Desk. So, now I have sound. And if later in the meeting I need to reconfigure my audio, I can get to the Flash Player settings again by right-clicking somewhere within the Big Blue Button window to get a context menu where I choose Settings. Hopefully you don't find the two levels of settings too confusing. The thing to do is experiment with both until you get the result you need. Next we'll talk about what to do if your sound is muted. We'll return to muting sound a little later, but if you can't be heard, another thing to check is your mute settings, which you can find in the listeners pane. If you have enabled sound, you'll see your name next to a microphone icon, and if you've been muted, that icon will have a red line through it. To unmute, click the unmute button if there is one. Or if you've been locked, use the raised hand icon and the chat pane to ask a moderator to unmute you. Next, we'll talk about unwanted sound. If you're in a meeting with several participants or if ambient sounds like snuffling or traffic noise from the different places are causing a disturbance, the moderator can use the Mute All button to stop participants from broadcasting sound. Then, to identify the source of the unwanted noise, moderators can unmute each participant one by one. The one thing for moderators to remember here is to unmute anybody who needs to speak. And finally, if somebody's voice sounds scratchy, that may mean that their microphone is set too loud. Now, let's move on to feedback. Occasionally, you might hear a nerve-jangling sound, something like this.
This feedback noise happens when somebody is using their computer speakers and they're turned up loud enough for a microphone to pick up their sound and broadcast it to the meeting, which is picked up by the mic in turn and so on. To avoid this, turning down your speakers often works, but better still, turn off your speakers and use headphones. Or if you're with other people, you can borrow a simple but effective conferencing microphone like this one from Goldsmiths Media Equipment Centre. Next, chat. If you can't see anywhere to type in the chat pane, then you've encountered a minor bug in Big Blue Button. Simply scroll to the bottom of the chat pane, like so, and you'll find the chat box. When somebody else joins the meeting, I found that the text box appears again and can be viewed at the same time as the chat. Next, we'll talk about problems with video. If you're having trouble broadcasting video, remember to click on the webcam icon in the big blue button top left. And this loads a preview of your video. When you're ready, you then have to remember to click the start sharing button within the preview window to actually start broadcasting. If you're still having trouble and you're using an external webcam, check that it's plugged in properly and then go into the flash settings by right clicking within the big blue button meeting. Click on the settings option in the menu that loads and the Adobe Flash Player settings will load. From there click on the webcam icon which gives you a pull down menu. I don't have a choice here, you may well have one and if you do click on the video that you want to be broadcasting from and if that doesn't work you can experiment until you hopefully meet with success. With some older computers you may need to have everything plugged in before you switch on. So if all else fails, try a restart.